Hi there. So how to unwrap in Blender? Let's see, there are different ways but I'll show you the most commonly used Copal. The fastest and easiest one is using Smart UV Project. I would recommend it only if you are going to bake procedural textures and don't want to spend time for unwrapping at all. It provides super fast but pretty poor results. Another option is manual unwrapping that takes much more time, but provides much better results. In the edit mode press Ctrl E and find mark seam and clear seam. I highly recommend adding them to quick favorites as this will boost your speed. Now when you have instruments it's time to add seams to your model. This is a bit creative process that doesn't have exact instructions for all models at one time. Just remember to balance between these two rules, your seams shouldn't be on the most visible part of the model, but also if placing somewhere deep will cause distortion this is also not the best option. A good trick is to take a look at your UV island and ask yourself, will I be able to make this shape with a piece of paper without a lot of folds? It's okay if there will be a few small ones, but not too many big folds. If the answer is yes I can, then you're moving in the right direction. But if not, try to imagine where these folds will appear in this case, and try to add some cuts in these places, or just move the seam a bit. Here's an example, this bend will cause distortion as it's looped. So we can add few cuts here. Or we can move our seam to separate this bend from the UV island. When you finish placing your seams you can unwrap your model. Also sometimes it's more comfortable to unwrap some islands with a project from view, but this is a pretty rare case. Also if you need to unwrap only one island there's one trick, use faces selection mode with key 3, move cursor over needed island and press L key. It will select the whole island. To see the result you can create a material with the default blender UV grid. Just add a new texture, and select the UV grid. Once you have your UV map, you can adjust it with a proportional editing in the UV edit window. But remember, don't try to make it perfect, it's okay if there's a bit of distortion, in 99% cases nobody will notice, especially with some natural textures like rocks. And the last step is to pack your UV islands. This is also a bit creative process, just try to fill each possible gap and provide more UV space to more important islands. This is a basic algorithm that is enough for work, but there are few more tips that I personally don't use, but they can be useful for some people. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to know what they are, and I'll make a second part of this video. And as always, good luck with your art.